Hey guys, this is Achinte Gomez. I am back with another video. As I promised you on LinkedIn, that I am going to share a list of 20 must-do recursion problems from concept building, easy, medium, and commonly asked problems. So we are going to discuss that. So first, we will be discussing concept building problems that you can solve. Which one is important? Which one is what? Then we'll discuss some easy problems. Then we'll discuss some medium problems. Then we'll discuss some commonly asked problems in different interviews. And in the end, I will tell you which best resources you can follow to study recursion. I hope you all are aware how important recursion is. Lot of influencer educators have all. already shared on their platform so many times like i also found like many students struggle in recurs uh, struggle in dsa because their recursion is not clear because recursion is needed for backtracking it is needed for dp lot of tree lingle stack queue questions can be solved for with recursion and also in your development life once you become a developer you will be using a lot of concept which will be applying recursion so recursion is very important it seems a very simple concept ki arik function dusre function self calling function is recursion okay but how to visualize this how to understand how it actually works so that is very important which very few uh, developers or engineers are able to do so that's why i created this list it covers almost all topics which where recursion applies in a structured manner i hope you must have solved a lot of questions out of them so you can just skip them and one thing make sure you understand that problem like there is a factorial of a number this is a very simple problem you will say kya isme kuch hai nahi but you have to understand how you visualize recursion because once you go and start doing advanced recursion question even memorization in dp you have to understand like how recursion is actually working you can watch a video read a solution but hota kya hai ki hame samajh bhi nahi aata hum rat lete hain memorize kar lete hain but usse kaam nahi chalega kabhi na kabhi aap phas jaoge theek hai so you have to understand how recursion works so for that you must focus on this concept building problems take your time these are very easy questions you think i will just solve it like that but make Make sure you watch them properly, understand them, and see how recursion is working. So five problems I have listed: factorial of a number, very common. So next is Fibonacci series for nth number, in which you will be inputting a number to the function, and you have to return that numbers uh, in the Fibonacci series. I hope you understand. Next is reverse string. This is a very common problem, but it will help you clarify a lot of your uh, concepts regarding string, which will be applied in complex problems in the future. One of that is not so complex is check if a string is palindrome. I have not added link to these problems because these are very common, and I hope you can easily find. Fifth is sum of digits of a number. Let's say you are given a number seven two three one. So you have to find the sum seven plus two plus three plus one. So that will be how much thirteen, I guess. Yes. So you have to solve this. Link is there. You can go and check out and check this problem. This is a very simple problem, but this is. this concept can be applied to solve many problems in dsa like many problems can be solved using it so make sure you are clear with this make sure you watch some tutorials read some article on gfg or any other platform try to understand different approaches the complexity and then only you move on to the next set of problems so next set i have divided as easy problems so first is a number of ways to cover a distance let's say uh, you are given a distance of 20 you can only take one step three step five step so you have to tell us what are the total number of ways how in which you can cover this distance this is a very simple uh, recursion problem like two three lines of code is there but it's very difficult to visualize okay so make sure you spend enough time to understand how this recursion is actually working okay because this will form basis for many problems in the future like almost every problem here forms a basis of something else so i will not repeat it again and again link is there next is recursive bubble sort you must have done bubble sort but make sure you implement that bubble sort using recursive method if you have already done it then it's good but this is a good way to uh, apply recursion to sorting you can also do recursive insertion sort or any other sort as well but i have to add one to many ye dal diya next is x to the power n you have to write a function that will take a number x and n and return x to the power n let's say x is 2 n is 3 to 2 to the power 3 8 will be the response so rest you can read on lead code this is also very interesting question but very easy next is merge two sorted linked list so there can be many ways of solving this problem so there are two lists which are sorted so you have to merge it make sure you solve it with the help of recursion i have done it myself let me show you my code how i have solved it so i really find it very fascinating question it's very simple once you know the answer but it's very difficult to reach this answer okay so make sure you try it uh, both the linked list both the list will be linked list both will be sorted and you have to create a third list okay so this is the solution you can see with the recursion there you are taking l1 l2 two nodes and you are checking and recall the same function so you, this might seem very simple but it takes very much time to understand how it actually works so that is the beauty of recursion answers are simple but it takes time for you to understand next is i want to help uh, want you to do some problem on binary tree so the most easiest recursion in binary tree you can apply in order pre order and post order it's a three line code i hope you have done it but make sure you are able to understand how it is work now we move on to slightly medium level of problems uh, some students may call them easy as well it depends on student to student uh, in this first you have to reverse a stack using recursion this is a very brilliant question there is two levels of recursion which will be applied in this one is like empty the stack and second is to insert at the bottom so it's a very interesting question make sure you do it you make sure you watch some tutorial on youtube regarding 
it next is minimum number of coins let's say you are given a uh, sum of 50 you have coins 1 2 5 10 so you have to tell what is the minimum number of coins you have to do so this is a dp problem but i will want you to solve it using recursion because this is a very a uh, beginner problem of complex problems like if you want to solve some advanced problems with recursion so this is like the first or second problem in that order so very interesting problem definitely solve using recursion without tp next is print all permutations of an array very simple question late code you can check it out okay next is printing a power set so what is a power set let's say you have a 10 digit array so you can make like how many subsets of it like 1 2 3 you take 1 2 3 3 elements 4 elements 5 elements this is how you create multiple subsets a power set is a set which contains all the subsets so you have to solve this problem on lead code next is all possible full binary trees so this question i've added because i wanted you to do a question on binary tree as well if you don't know binary tree it's okay you can study later and do it but binary tree is also very important from the perspectives of your placement so you can also solve more problems in a uh, medium level of recursion but most problems are like either dp or backtracking so core recursion problems you will find very less or what you will find will be some combination of this uh, some variation of this permutation subset subsequences etc but if you understand these two problems you will be able to solve rest of them as well now we move on to some commonly asked problems uh, some of this problem will also be including backtracking as you know recursion and backtracking are very much connected they are like joined from the hip okay so first problem is combination sum second is n queens the standard problem third is sudoku solver another standard problem right in a maze another standard problem palindrome partitioning another standard problem if you are following the text page youtube linkedin etc any sheets you are following these are the commonly asked problem that you solve so if you are able to solve these problems i think that you are good to go in recursion in any problem one thing is make sure you apply your brain on this problems first before checking out any tutorial on youtube or etc make sure you do uh, give your 100% even if then you are not able to solve then you should check the solution and don't just memorize the solution try to understand it because your ability to understand these problems will form your basis of how good you are going to be for dynamic programming I hope you all are aware how important is dynamic programming okay so these are the 20 questions I would like to discuss if you have any other suggestions you can let me know in comment section I will review it and I will definitely add it in my list okay now we talk about some best resources to learn because I have added four resources take you forward Aditya Varma code help and pep coding my personal favorite is take you forward by Raj Vikramaditya he has it like 20 video 19 videos playlist theoretical and then 10 12 are commonly asked questions so you can definitely check it I will personally recommend you to study from take you forward apart from this Aditya Varma is also very much loved I have seen very good feedback uh, from students from Aditya Varma for Aditya Varma especially those students who are learning DSP for the first time so if you are a very beginner so I think Aditya Verma will be better option for you. Next is code help by Bubble. So this is also a video, a good set of videos. This is a one in video. Uh, so there are like six to seven lectures, I think, and lots of problems are solved. So you can also definitely check it out. Okay, it's also good explanation, uh, detailed explanation of everything. Next is pep coding. I hope you are aware of what is pep coding. They have like around 60 plus video in this place. Okay, so a lot of problems are covered in this, and you can definitely check out. We all know how good Sumit sir is. This explanation method. All the questions that I have mentioned above will be solved in either of these four uh, recommendations or you can find separate videos for them if you want. It could be to go by in a linear order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. As you can see the difficulty level, the complexity is slowly, slowly increasing in problem. And if you are able to solve, I will solve this to 20 question you can solve any problem but i will say this if you are able to understand how these 20 problems work uh, you are able to visualize how the recursion is happening then i can guarantee you you can definitely solve any problem related to recursion in the future so thank you so much please check it out this link to document is there in the description